Our Gospel reading for All Saints Day is from the Sermon on the Mount, probably one of the most famous passages from our Christian scriptures. The Beatitudes, those blessed are sayings, are really very powerful. Yet I suspect we've become used to hearing them and often miss how shocking they can be. Blessed are the poor in spirit. Hard to feel blessed when you feel lonely or isolated, when you're worried about your future, when the threat of redundancy looms. Hard to feel blessed. Blessed are those who mourn. No, we feel grief-stricken, angry, alone, frightened, depressed, bereft, rarely blessed. And the limited attendance number for a funeral isn't adding to our sense of blessedness either. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Yes, right. Meek people are trampled on, overlooked, ignored, bullied. They do not generally inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness. Maybe, but the hungering and thirsting sounds rough. Ask the survivors of church context abuse. And the merciful, do they receive mercy? Nowhere near often enough, according to our history books. I won't go on. You get my point. It's rather like saying blessed are Charlton when they lose 4-0. These Beatitudes are really very countercultural. They were countercultural when Jesus first preached this sermon. They were countercultural when they were captured in our Gospels and they still are today. Like so much of the teaching about the kingdom of God, it is the way of our world turned upside down. For in this world, we value optimism over realism. We are embarrassed by signs of mental illness or despair. We see grief as something to be tranquilised away with antidepressants something private and unseemly. We know that the meek will be preyed upon, so we don't promote meekness as a desirable attribute, particularly not in boys or men. But Jesus challenges all of this. He blesses the very things we seek not to be, or at least the things we know will, will not generally be valued or rewarded in our society. He undermines the rules by which society functions. As we prepare to celebrate All Saints Day on Sunday, I want to suggest that if we are being called by Christ to see blessedness in a topsy-turvy way, then so we should see the sainthood as topsy-turvy too. If you look carefully at the lives of the saints, you will see that many were not the big players in their society. Many saints were those left out of the game or those who subverted it for the sake of the excluded. Saints are the victims or those allied to the victim. They are the persecuted. Saints stand up against a prevailing culture. Saints stand uncompromisingly for righteousness, mercy, peace and justice. This is so countercultural in a society where we are encouraged to idolise overpaid professional footballers, fashion models, film stars and other celebrities. In many ways, I'd like to believe that we in the church are all saints, and I do believe we can all be God's holy people. But I also know that many of us are too far removed from the world of the Beatitudes for sainthood, too caught up in a society that promotes the attainment of wealth, fame and power, too busy trying to hold on to what we have, too afraid to expose the corruption or the injustices in our world, in our community or even in our church. Our gospel this Sunday holds up a mirror to our lives and leaves many of us feeling uncomfortable. So let us pray. God of holiness, your glory is proclaimed in every age. 
as we rejoice in the faith of your saints, inspire us to follow their example with boldness and joy through Jesus Christ our Lord. <laughs>